I think if there's a, a cricketer that I would have liked to have been able to see footage of, it would have been SF Barnes. Sidney Barnes was arguably the best bowler that Test cricket has ever known. He was a lively medium pace, rather quicker than medium pace. He approached the wicket all up, he was very lively in his run up. And he always carried the ball in his left hand until just before he got to the crease, when he put the ball into his right hand and uh, whichever grip he was using at the time. So he masked it from the batsman. The great Australian batsman Clem Hill described how he could swing a new ball either way. He could pitch it outside leg stump and hit the off stump. He could he could bowl cutters, he could bowl all, so all at a fastest, briskish, fast, medium pace. I suppose his greatest ever test match was at Melbourne in 1911-12. England won the toss on an absolutely wonderful wicket and Barnes took a wicket, the very first ball he bowled, the first ball of the second over, took four for one in his first five overs and took five for six in his opening spell. Many at the time, and those who saw him, um, always said he was the greatest of all bowlers. He was a cantankerous man, didn't play an awful lot of county cricket, preferred to play the, uh, um, the leagues, uh, which were um, more beneficial financially to him. He only played uh, 27 test matches, he took 189 wickets and was an extraordinary performer.